There are very few equations when it comes to Newton's Law's problems, uh, so we have to write our own. And that's where we learn how to write net force equations. So we start with Newton's second law. We know that for each in any individual force, F equals MA. But if we have more than one force, we're going to add up all those forces, and we get the F net, the net force, the total force, equals MA. Now F net is the vector sum of all the forces acting on an object, not just the normal sum. Because it's the vector sum, because force is a vector, we have to separate the F net equations. We have to separate the F net equations into an X direction equation and a Y direction equation. Because the X direction forces and the Y direction forces are not going to affect each other. So let's look at the rules for writing a net force equation. For each object, you're going to write a net force equation. So first things first, draw a free body diagram. If you can't draw a free body diagram correctly, you're not going to be able to write the net force equation correctly. Once you have a free body diagram, if you have any forces at angles, uh, then you need to resolve them into x and y components uh, using sine and cosine, just like with any vector at an angle. Next, make sure you've drawn the direction of the acceleration on your net force, on your free body diagram, because the direction of acceleration is going to be the positive direction. It doesn't matter if it's up or down or left or right. The direction of acceleration is positive, so everything pointing the same direction as acceleration is going to be a positive force. Anything pointing the opposite direction is going to be a negative force. Then you have to write your F net equations in both the X and Y directions, so keep those separate. Keep an X direction and Y direction separate, otherwise you might get yourselves confused. Once we do that, then we can solve the problem. Let's see how this works. So we have a box here, it's being accelerated to the right, and we have these forces on it. Uh, this is our free body diagram. We looked at the problem, we drew this free body diagram. Let's see how we get a net force equation out of it. So let's start in the x direction. We have two forces in the x direction. We have F push and force of friction. The direction of acceleration is to the right, that means that F push is going to be our positive force because it's also pointing right and force of friction is going to be a negative force because it's pointing left. So uh, our F net is going to be the sum of F push and FF. We just said F push is positive, FF is negative, so we get F net equals F push minus FF. F net always equals MA, so we can replace F net X with MA, and we get MA equals F push minus FF. Let's look in the Y direction, something similar. Uh, we're going to say there is no acceleration in the y direction, so we can say up is positive, down is negative. Why not? We've said that for a lot of other things. So that means Fn is going to be a positive force, Fg is going to be a negative force. We add those forces together, or in this case subtract them, and we know the acceleration is zero, so Ma equals zero, since A equals zero. So if we rearrange this equation a little bit, we get Fn equals Fg. Just a little tip, if there is no acceleration in a direction, all the forces on one side equal all the forces on the other side. We'll see how that's more useful when we get to more forces. But now that we have these equations, we're going to use these two equations when we're going to solve our problem. Uh, whatever we're looking for. We have some things we're given, we could plug those in. Uh, maybe we're looking for, I don't know, the acceleration. We could solve for that. Let's try a different one. So here we have a box being pulled upward by a rope. We're saying it's accelerating upward, and we have our tension force and our force of gravity. X direction. Well, there are no forces in the X direction, so we can say F, F net equals zero. Nothing to do there. The Y direction is more interesting because we have two forces. We have tension going up, gravity going down, acceleration is pointing up, so that means tension is going to be positive, gravity is going to be negative. So we end up with this for our net force equation. And since there's nothing in the x direction, this is the only equation we're going to need to solve this part of the problem. But what if we have a force at an angle? We had this in our steps, you could look back at those. Uh, but we have uh, these four forces now. We have F pull being exerted upward at an angle. Normal force and force of gravity are the same. Uh, force of friction is also in the same direction as before. Still accelerating to the right. So this might be, uh, maybe you're dragging your suitcase behind you. 
you don't pull on it horizontally, you're pulling on it upward, uh, but not straight up. So you have an upward angle to your force. Well, first step, we need to, to uh, split the force into its x and y components. So we have f pull in the x direction, and f pull in the y direction, and our angle theta there. So let's split those into the components. We know f pull x is going to be f pull cosine theta. f pull y is f pull sine theta. So we look in the x direction to start, and we say f net x is going to be f pull x minus the force of friction. We're not going to use f pull by itself in an x or y direction. We're only going to use that as part of the components. So that's why we have f pull x minus ff. We could then substitute in for f pull x, f pull cosine theta. Uh, and we also plug in ma for f net. And that's, uh, that's it in the x direction. So let's look at the y direction. Something very similar. We have no acceleration in the y direction. That means we get to pick. Let's say up is positive, down is negative. So that means fn is positive and f pull y is positive, fg is going to be negative. So we add up all those forces with the correct signs. There is no acceleration in the y direction. That means ma is zero. So we get this equation. And these two equations are going to be our net force equations that we will use to solve this problem. From here, we would plug, plug in any numbers that we have, uh, rearrange it to solve for whatever we're looking for, and proceed from there.